Okay, card community, we've been hearing so much about, you know, Panini versus Fanatics versus Panini and so on and so forth. And there was a big rumor not that long ago about Upper Deck and potentially um, having lost and or not been able to renew their deal with LeBron James. And now all of a sudden, there's a Tops Now card of LeBron James. You know, this is the first non-Upper Deck card of LeBron we've seen in a long time. So, once again, what an exciting time to be in the space, you know, when when the, the arguably people who run the space are now, um, you know, there's some new players in town and, and the old players are, your feathers get ruffled a little bit. So again, my take is the same as it's, it's an exciting time. Uh, I love to see it. Competition is great because usually what happens is the consumer ends up with a better product and a better experience by way of it. So watch out for the LeBron James Tops Now card and let's see. Who knows, everybody's quiet right now, but when they drop little Easter eggs like that, it gets me excited.